Hey, it's Debbie Montgomery Johnson, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I usually do Wednesdays with the woman behind the smile, but today I'm coming to you as a co-author of one of the stories in the Pay It Forward series, Notes to My Younger Self. This is a book that just launched the other day, and I am one of 18 authors with a group of phenomenal women from across the globe, and we're sharing our stories in hopes of helping others to drop the mask. I see Kristen. Hi, Kristen Sorensen. Huh? Uh, drop the mask of your, what's happened in your past and tell your story so that you can reach out and touch the hand of another sister, another woman that can help her go along. And y'all know my story, or many of you know my story about the online scam, but the story that I shared in the book, um, in the Pay It Forward series, Note to My Younger Self, was a story that, about when I was 15 years old and I was getting ready to go away to school. And uh, we had a fire in our home. And it was something that I think really changed me from the inside out where probably allowed me to give away so many things in my past because I'm not held to the temporal things of the world. I'm not held to things and I'm, I'm very, uh, easy, can very easily give them away. So I just wanted to share my story. Hi, Sally. I wanted to share part of the story and encourage you to look at, uh, on Amazon, the Pay It Forward series, Notes to My Younger Self. It's a, it's a project that is near and dear to my heart and to that of the women that um, also authored it in the book. We are, our goal is to reach a billion women. And the way we're doing that is inside the book, I think it's on page seven, if you, when you purchase a copy for someone else, you put your story in it and then you give the book away. And that book can be given to another person and by and, you know, and on and on and on so that all the stories can go around the globe and can touch the, touch the lives of the women and men that uh, they fall into their hands. And um, so mine, Right here quickly, this is actually in the words of my father, Dr. Jack. The January 18th, 1974. It was a frigid, cold day with temperatures reaching minus five degrees. When I arrived home from dinner, for dinner from the office, it was pleasant since the memories of the Christmas holiday were still fresh and some decorations were scattered throughout the house. The house was filled with the odor of the soon to be served dinner. Then, as Gwen, my wife, my mother gave me a greeting, she, a greeting kiss. She calmly told me she had had difficulty getting our relatively new station wagon started today because it was so cold out. I turned and went directly to the garage that I had just parked my Jeep in, next to the garden tractor, next to the snowblower. After a few tries, I was able to get the wagon started and I laid a brick on the accelerator pedal in order to keep the engine running at a speed that would soon recharge the battery. This was an operation that I performed a multitude of times on cold days. I noticed the smell of gasoline, but that was normal when a car had been flooded in the starting process. With tasks completed, I returned to the house through a breezeway that connected the garage to our home, and I left the car purring in the garage. Well, this is a story that my father was telling while my brothers and I were off at church that night. Again, I was only 15 years old and I was getting ready to go away to New Hampshire. So all my stuff was out and out in the house. And as you can imagine, or can imagine, it goes on and when my parents had to go downstairs into the basement of the home, and this is in Vermont, and it was freezing cold, and they all of a sudden, the lights went out in the house. And my father looked up through a small window in the basement, and all he could see was this bright glow in the sky. The sky was a bright orange yellow and he couldn't imagine what was going on until they ran upstairs. And they saw something that changed our lives forever. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the rest of the story because I really want you to go look at the book, the Pay It Forward series, Notes to My Younger Self. The main author is Kazia Luckett. Kazia is a friend of mine from London. And this is just a phenomenal thing. It is a book of 18 women's stories and each one will touch you in a different way. It's like they're sitting there as your best friend telling you something that happened to them, something they were very vulnerable about, something that they were really opening up to, and it's taken 50, 40 to 50 to 60 years to be able to tell the story. And they're doing it openly and honestly, and it's not about us, but it's about us allowing you to tell your story to someone else. And I encourage you to do that. So today is a stand up. It's stand up in your power to tell your story. Stand up and listen to someone else that may be telling their story and share with a billion women. What a great movement we have going on. 
If we can touch the lives of a billion women, we can change the world forever. But it starts with you. It starts with me. One sister at a time. So I encourage you to do that. I'm getting my books in the mail. Uh, I have the Kindle version. You can get Kindle version for 99 cents, dollar, dollar 99, not very much. But buy a book for yourself and buy one for someone else and share it. And just drop it off. A friend of mine in London is just dropping it off from the bus stop or at a, at a supermarket. Just give it, pay it forward. Give it away to someone and enjoy. Thank you all for listening today, and I encourage you to have a great day and pay it forward with a little bit of sunshine in your life. Hugs to all of you. Bye now.